Hello everybody, Gerard O'Connor here. Uh, I'm gonna get started. I know there's maybe a few people still coming across with tea and coffee, uh, but I'm very conscious of the lads have been hanging around here for, for the last 20 minutes. So we want, to get, we want to get going, they want to get going, and I'm sure you want to get home as well too. So if we, get, if we can get out of here a little bit earlier, all be, we'll, all be, we'll all be happy with that. So thanks very much for, for coming over here. Uh, we're looking at Go Games football under 12. And uh, I'm ably assisted by Owen Mooney, Aoife Lowe, and Laura Scuffy. Uh, two girls are, are sports science students from DCU, and Owen works with, uh, with me in Dublin GAA, and is a very experienced coach. So um, today, what I'd like to do is show you a way, a method of coaching when you've got a large group of players um, that you can break up into smaller groups and have really focused activity for a short period of time. This is sort of the type of coaching that I would have done uh, with an age group similar to this um, a number of years ago, and I continue to do it even at adult level. So what I'm trying to do today is show you station-based coaching. And station-based coaching for me is where you have different activities for a short period of time with a particular focus on a skill or a game or an attribute that you want to really focus in on. We can also have station-based coaching without a coach at the station. It allows the children to have some sort of free play. So you might not necessarily need a coach at each station, uh, so you could maybe try that uh, within your clubs. The other right ideas that we want to get across today is that we can have differentiation within the station. So all of these children are chronologically 12 or under 12 years of age. But biologically, they can range from 6 to 14. Their skills, their athleticism, their physical ability. So it's a challenge for coaches to be able to deal with that range within a group. So that's where those, the station-based activity can actually be very, very useful. Because all we're going to be doing is working with between 7 and 9 players so we can give them really, really good quality time for a short period. Hopefully, the children will enjoy it. There'll be lots of variety, and they'll move on quickly to the, to the next activity. So, <clears throat> you're not just going to be observers today. I'm going to give you a task, because I know, as a coach, going to these workshops, after 10 minutes, I start talking to the coach beside me about what I had for lunch, or about maybe the match tonight, or whatever. So, to avoid that, the lads are going to give you an observation sheet. So we want you to observe us, the coaches, doing what we call the how to coach skills. So <clears throat> we have two of these sheets for everybody. You're going to rotate with the players to the different stations and you're going to observe the coach at each station and if they are performing or not performing, you don't tick. If they are performing some of these how to coach skills, we want you to tally it up. Okay? So that's why it's going to be very important that when we get you into a group, you stay with that group and you move to the different stations when the children move as well. So your job is to tally up what you see. And at the very end, we'll be going over to the stage and we'll be testing your observation skills. Okay? So we'll be going over here at the very end and we'll be asking you what was the most prevalent how to coach skill of each of the coaches? What was the coaching style of each coach? So we need you to be observant, just like you would be when you're coaching your players. You're always looking, you're always scanning, you're always looking for stuff, and we're making it easy for you. We're giving you stu the stuff to look for, okay? So we'll be giving you a pencil and two of these sheets, We'll also be giving you these game cards. And unfortunately, I had four of them, but I believe the hurlers stole the other two on me. Maybe, maybe there were some footballers that stole them too, but anyway. So these are the activities that we're going to be doing here today. So the activities will be in each of the stations. And this explains what they're doing, how they're doing it, and the type of questions that we're going to ask while the, the children are performing the activities. 
So you can have these, you can take these away. I don't know where the other ones went. As I said, the hurlers must have robbed them on me. Uh, so there, there were four activities for us, okay? So in this station here, Owen is going to be performing prisoner ball. Okay, so you see the nets, um, and it's a court game. In the middle, I'm going to be in the middle, and I'm going to be doing a game called shoot on sight, okay? And in the far part of the pitch, the third game is called continuous play. So there, this, there are the, the activities, and we'll be rotating every eight, seven or eight minutes for those activities. But before we begin the activities, we're going to do a warm-up. I'm going to take all the children for a warm-up, and I want you all to come in where they're performing the warm-up to see what they're doing. Is that okay? So before we do that, I'm going to arrange you in the groups, okay? So everybody from here down, you're group number one, okay? You stay together and you rotate to the station. From here up to this man here, you're group number two. You're going to stay together and move. And the last group are group number three. Is that okay? So group number one will start here. Group number two will go into the middle where I am in front of the, the arc. And group number three will go to the far sideline over there. We want the coaches to come onto the pitch and stand along the side to see the activity. You're, you're too far away to actually hear and see what's happening. So the task is to observe the how to coach skills. Today is about not what we're doing, it's how we're doing it. That's the most important thing around coaching, is how you do it. We can Google all the games and activities on the internet, that's the what. Today what we want you to do is focus on the how. Okay, enough for me talking. We're going to get the children into the middle and we're going to do the warm-up. So you can move in to the warm-up area now. Okay, lads, away we go. We, we might turn it on over here. Is that okay? Yeah. Right, boys, bring it in. Bring it in. Come on. You need a ball, you need a ball though, you need a ball. Bring it in lads. Okay. Are we ready? Look, we have a drone and everything lads. Smile, you're on camera. Okay, are we ready? Right boys, off we go. Show me what you can do with the ball, off you go. Show me what you can do with the ball. Show me what you can do with the ball with just your hands. Just your hands. Show me what you can do with the ball with just one hand. Can you see the children are deciding what to do themselves? I'm not telling them what to do. They're deciding for themselves. Show me what you can do with your feet. Your other foot. Show me what you can do with the body part, not your hands or your feet. But you have to do it running. Move closer to the coaches, lads. Move closer to the coaches. Let's go. Every time you, you take a solo, I want you to change direction. Off you go. Every time you take a solo, change direction. This is what I would call skills preparation before the warm up. Everybody aboard, practicing all of the skills that we need for our games. See if you can kick it really high and then catch it. Good stuff. Keep it going.
Okay, grab a partner. Let's go, grab a partner. Okay, let's go and pass the balls to your partner. Away we go. So now we, now we can develop up into paired work. So the, the first part was just individual. They're all on their own doing, deciding what they want to do themselves. Now we're just bringing in a little bit of paired work. And as you can see, they've all stopped because it's way harder to move as Mick Boham was talking. It's way harder to move passing two balls. So they're all stopped. Okay, I'm going to have to tell them to move. Try and move now, doing it. Pass. Try and move and pass. Off you go. Whew. Okay, and hold it. Drop one of the balls, lads. This time you're just going to use one ball, but you're passing and moving all the time. Away you go. Kick, pass, and move. Away we go. Kick, pass, and move. Kick, pass, and move. Nice and, nice and wide, off you go. Kick, pass, and move. All right, Peter, on you go. Keep going, keep going, move. Move and kick it to him, where is he? Have you a partner? Uh, no. no, you do it to me then, let's go. And move, go, go. That's it, go. Okay, get in close and hand pass, away we go. In close and hand pass. On the move though, you gotta be doing it on the move. All right, hold it up. One man stops. Okay, one man stop. You wanna go a little dummy solo and go around your partner. You ready? Off you go. Dummy solo, around your partner. Solo, around your partner. Switch over the ball then. Make sure you switch over, lads. Okay, last little activity. This time, you gotta get in and block. Come over, drop the ball there, Mark. You ready? Try and block the ball. Okay, off you go. Block, off you, and then get a block. Get a block on the ball. No, you're kicking and he's blocking. You're kicking and he's blocking. Right, Jack, get your hands down on the ball. Block him. No, 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 you watch. You block my kick. Ready, go. Go, off you go. You're trying to just block his kick. Go to block his kick. Kick him. That's it, big hands. Okay, and hold it. All right, lads, bring it all in. And we'll roll all the footballs up to there. Just roll them. Lovely. All up to the end, lads. So, roll them all up to the end. They're already warmed up. They've practiced hundreds of skills in that four or five minutes. So what's the key? Lots of equipment, lots of footballs. If you're going to train and you've got four footballs and you have 30 kids, go home. You need lots of equipment. We want to keep them active, we want to engage them. We want them to learn all the skills. We don't want them standing behind cones. We want them active. So equipment is, is critical. Now we're going to raise it up a little bit and this is what we call the pulse raiser. So they're already panting, but we'll be panting even more now in a second. So Owen has taken them through a little game, a tag game, and these games are used with young players, but also with adult players, even with inter-county groups. So this is what we call tag, and this is called ultimate tag, which means it never stops. So what they're doing is everybody is on, so anybody can tag anybody else. If somebody tags somebody at the same time, they decide using rock, paper, scissors, who is the one that's out or who the one is in. So all the evasive skills, sidestep, swerve, the roll, all of these skills are to be seen and evident in this particular game.
Similarly, you can apply any sort of adaption or variation to this. You can have them running with the ball. They don't necessarily have to do the game without the ball, but it can be a, a, a it can be a, a distraction at times as well. Sometimes. Tired yet? You tired? I play this game a lot and most of the observations at the end is can we keep playing so that's always a good sign when children say can we keep playing but sometimes it's always good to to stop stuff in the in when they're really enjoying it because then you can come back to it at another stage yeah yeah okay so we're, we're going to be coaches now we're going to be getting you to go back group one is back here group two around the arc and group three over on this side here. So if you can move with your groups now, and then when the children have finished the activity, you move with them to the next group. So you'll be, you're progressing into three different activities, three different things. Okay, thank you. You tired, man? Are you tired, man? Not yet, okay, so let's see. We need some big balls as well. So we've got some over here, haven't we? Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> right, man, up we come. <sighs> right, coaches, if we only bring it in a little bit closer, uh, <clears throat> we'll knock these footballs in here. So what, what, you're, what, you're, what the task I'm asking you to do is to look at the, the uh, observation sheet in terms of the how to coach skills, okay? So when I'm coaching, if you see something that's on the sheet, just give it a tick, 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 tick. And when you go to the next coach, you write down her name or you write down Owen's name. So then you have a sort of a sheet for each, for each coach. So the whole idea of this is to start using your observation skills looking at coaching but more importantly it might trigger your yourself in terms of what do i do as a coach or how do i do it all right so the game here is called what's it called shoot on sight okay so the game here will be stacked in favor of the forward so what i will do here is i'll i'll, I'll probably have to change some of the numbers around here so i'll probably have three defenders and i probably will have six attackers so it means the attackers will have lots of space and the whole idea is for them to create a bit of space to play the ball and shoot on sight. Their only restriction is they must make one pass and they can only have one play. So they can have more than one pass, they can have five passes, but they can only have one play, which is either a bounce, a solo or whatever. Is that okay? Right boys, bring it in. Down on one knee there. So, do you remember this from the last day? Yeah. So how many passes are we allowed? One pass, we've got to make one pass. And Connor, when we make the pass, what can we do then? You can, you can, you can shoot or you can take a play, all right? So Thomas, uh, you're going to go in the goals, all right? And we've got Enda, Mark, and Rory. You're going to be the three defenders. So your job is to try and stop the forwards from scoring. Do you want to go into the position there now? Okay, let's go. All right, Thomas, let's go into the goals. Lovely. And then the forwards. Go into the position there now, good lad. So forwards, I'm going to be the selector today. So I'll give you the ball. Is that okay? Right, into position there now. You ready? Right, are we ready? Right, Peter, are you come and looking for it. Come on, let's go. A great pass. Okay, work it out, defenders, work it out. 
a bit of Tyrone tackling going on in there. Okay, ball is dead. Ball is dead. New ball, new ball. Come, come, come. Come and get it, come and get it. Right, James. Oh, was that a good pass, James? Okay, we're on again, we're on again, we're on again. Let's go, let's go. Alan, look for the ball, look for the ball, go. You nearly had him there, you nearly had him. Take the shot, super. Okay boys, bring it in fast, quickly. Bring it in fast. Bring it in fast, defenders as well. Tomas, quickly. Okay, uh, getting tired, lads. Right, down to one knee again, right. So, forwards that time. Do you think the defenders had to work really hard there? Defenders, did you have to work hard? Yeah. Why? There was more of them than us. There was more of them than, than us, right? So would that make it easier for the forwards, do you think? Yeah. How would it make it easier? Being more careful. Right, okay, but did they actually use the ball well? They did? Many shots did they get? Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, we're going to count now how many shots they got. So, Connor, let's make sure when we get the ball, Peter, Fanon, right? The minute we get the ball, what should we be doing? Looking up, scanning, right? Because there's extra men everywhere. You ready? Let's go. Two balls are going in. You ready? Let's go. Far, uh, Tomas, you're in the goals there. Go, 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 go. Quick. We'll change in a minute. Who look, who's looking for the ball? Come on, who's looking for it? I'm not going to give it to somebody who's been marked. Go. Oh, great shot. Let's go again. New man, come on, Peter, go. So you can see some, some of the players are just passing for the sake of passing. The pass that they're given is actually not even in it an advantageous position for the other person. They're just passing the ball. So let's go again, last play. Yeah, yeah, the big goals, yeah. Yeah. Okay, bring it in boys, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna give, the, we're gonna give defenders a chance now. Right, bring it in. So, Connor, you're going to go in the goals for me. All right, let's go. And we're going to have Peter, you're going to be the selector for me. You're going, to, you're going to pass the balls in, right? And then the other three boys are going to be defending on the four forwards. Is that okay? Right, let's go. In the position. Peter, do you remember what we do? Maybe make sure we give the ball to somebody different every time. You ready? Right, forwards, you ready? Game on. Oh, good shot, hard luck, hard luck. We'll pick up again. What about the left foot? What about the left foot? The, sp the small ball is very difficult to manage, but it's also, it also means that they have to really focus on the ball, okay? There we go. Move boys, you're not gonna get the ball standing. Pick up, that's it. Okay, come on, come out again, let's go. And move, move with the ball, good boy. Okay, and Hold it, all right, bring it over for a second. But, all right, boys, let's go. So, how many shots did we get away there? No, I think we got three shots, did we? Okay, are we still looking up when we get the ball? Yeah, we're looking up, okay. This time, the defenders, we're gonna switch around. So, oranges are back. Rory, you're gonna go in goals, okay. And the three boys are gonna defend. This time, when you're defending, you've got to hold a tennis ball, right? Which means you can't grab onto somebody. So the tennis ball is to try and get them to focus on the ball 
for tackling. Okay, because I can't grab somebody if I have the tennis ball in my hand. So I might have to switch it to that hand if I want to tackle there or to go to that hand to there. Okay, so if, if you've got the ball, Alan, if you've got the ball and I'm trying to tackle you, okay, I can do that. All right, now if Alan goes the other side, if Alan goes that side, I've got to put it in that hand and go here. Now I have to be thinking of two things while I'm tackling. Are we ready? Defenders in you go and we have a goalkeeper there. Right forwards, who's on? Right, James, are you ready? Let's go. Game on. Defenders, wake up! Let's go again. Right, defenders, let's go. Get on the ball here. Get the ball. Get a tackle. Good boy. Okay, go again. Let's go. Last ball. Right, Peter. Pick up, Peter, pick up. Good man. Oh, great pass. Defenders have gone to sleep. Oh, great block. Okay, boys, bring it up. So, defenders, what did you think of the, having the tennis ball in your hand? Um, weird. Huh? weird. Very weird, isn't it? What else? Anybody else? Rory, what did you think of it? Having the ball in your hand? Did it, did it distract you? I didn't have one. You didn't have, oh, you were the goalkeeper, that's right. What about you, Matthew? Uh, it was distracting. It was distracting, was it? You were throwing it from one hand to the other. We noticed because you didn't, you didn't defend much. Didn't they, our coaches? They walked back like this, throwing the ball from one hand to the other. So they were a little bit distracted. Maybe something that was new they haven't done before. Okay, we're done. All right, so what was the name of the game we played here, boys? Shoot on sight. And what is it try, what, is, what are we trying to do when we're doing this game? Get a better aim. Yeah, get better aim, what else? Tackling. Tackling for the defenders. And what about the forwards? Okay. Shooting, okay? Coaches, give them a big hand there. Well done, boys. So where are, we, where are we going now? Over there, where are you going? Following them. Okay, lovely, thank, thank you, you. thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thank you. Really shake All right. <laughs> Just tell you one observation, I'm a primary school teacher right, yeah. age, I know all about it, but they're all, they're all funneling, funneling, funneling into the, the middle. Area. The middle, yeah, yeah. We have to wait to these coaches. Coaches, you want to come around this way here, because we're going to be using the front of the goals there. So if you want to come up around the arc, you'll get an obs a better observation from here, okay? So uh, at, this, at this station, we're going to be doing uh, shoot on sight. All right, so it's a little bit of decision making. Uh, there's some team play and there's obviously then some kicking for scores. All right, we're going to be using a variety of the footballs, uh, some of the small balls and some of the normal size balls for this particular age. So the reason I use the smaller ball is that they really have to focus on their technique. They really have to focus on the contact of the ball and their foot when they're going for a shot, okay? It's much easier to kick the bigger ball because it's obviously bigger. So I'll be adding those balls in. The forwards will be outnumbered to the defenders. So it gives more opportunity for the forwards to actually shoot without maybe being tackled. So in this particular game, it could be five on three or six on three. Is that okay? So the rules are the lads are, must make one pass and they can only have one play. So they can have more passes if they like, but they must pass the ball at least once and they can only have one play. So they can pass, give it back, pass, give it back, whatever. And then we're encouraging them to shoot on sight. So the minute that play is made or that pass is made, shoot back out and get another ball. So it's gonna be very quick. And then we probably have two or three adaptions during that particular time as well. All right, orange or green, what are we going for? Where? Four orange. Four orange defenders. Let's go. Uh, do you want to go in goal? Yes, right, go in goal. So, okay, so we've got four on one, two, three, four, four on five. I'll be the selector today. Is that okay? Right, so give us the ball. So, what are the rules again? One pass, one play, shoot on side. Ready, Shane, go. Great ball. 
Score, let's go, 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 go. Who's out for it? White Mark, let's go. On the move now, on the move, head up. Oh, off the crossbar. We won't allow that one. Let's go, let's go. Right, Paddy, move, one play. Oh, great block. Coach as well, I'll that for a block, come on. Let's go. And he's used his left foot as well. Get a block, get a block. Super. Okay, boys, in me come, in me come, in me come, in me come. Who made the block? Dara. Magic. Magic. Right, come on, let's go. So, did we get a score? How many? Two. Okay, hit the crossbar, huh? You nearly got a goal. Okay, so this time we're going to switch it around and the oranges are attacking. So we've got four oranges and we've got four attackers. Do you want to attack? You want to stay in the goals? Okay, so you're going to go in the goals and how many attackers do we have? Four defenders and, and, and five attackers. One, two, three, four, five. Five on four, you ready? Go, you ready? On the move, on the move, on the move. I'm not going to pass to somebody who's standing. Go. Oh, great ball. Another great ball. Play on. Okay. Pick up. Oh, super. Let's go, let's go. Move. Oh, great hand in. Great tackle. Ball is dead. New ball, new ball. Let's go, Jack. Let's go, Jack. Move your feet. Tackle it again. Who's looking for this one? Who's looking for this one? Oh, bad ball. Here we go, here we go. Mark, get on him. He's only allowed one play, remember? Big hands. What about the ball down the line? Oh, great shot. Oh, super. Okay, boys, bring it in, bring it in. So the one play makes it a little bit uh, easier at times for the defender because they know they either have to pass or shoot. So you can see there the reason we got maybe an odd block, okay? If we allow them to endless touches the ball, we probably wouldn't get that block to just solo the ball through the pitch. So we're going to switch again. This time, the defenders, who are the defenders? Right, take a tennis ball each. Let's go. Okay, so this time, when you're tackling, you can only tackle with one hand because the tennis ball is in one hand, right? So if you've got the ball, Reen, if you've got the ball and I'm beside you, I'm going to have to have the tennis ball in this hand in order to slap the ball out here, okay? And of course you can, so if, if I'm over this side, I'm going to have to put the tennis ball over there to knock the ball. So this means that I can't pull his jersey and try and tackle, like the Tyrone boys do, okay? <laughs> By the way, I'm from Tyrone, so I can have a joke on my own expense. So, the tennis ball forces me to use my hand to tackle, but it also means I'm a little bit distracted because this is maybe something that I don't get to do. You ready? Where we go. Right, Paddy, you on? Let's go, Paddy. Oh, great shot, great shot, let's go again. Right, Shane. Come on, somebody, defender, get on him, defender. Watch their hands, coaches, watch their hands. Oh, great block again, Dara, super. Let's go. Right, Mark, away we go, away we go, Mark. Great ball. Get a hand up, huh? Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, keep moving. Great pass, oh, great tackle, Dara. Okay, bring it up, bring it up. Okay. Defenders, what did you think of that? Why is it hard? Huh? 
You've only got one hand. You can't pull his jersey, isn't that right? Okay, what else, Defender Dara? What are, did you do a block? But how come you had the tennis ball in your hand? How did you manage to do that? You went like that. Okay, very good. Uh, anything else about the ball? Were you distracted, Reen? Yeah. Yeah, why? So he was focused on keeping the tennis ball in his hand, so he was distracted. Okay, it's not something that he's used to doing. So he was more interested in keeping the ball in his hand. So that's maybe something that they could build on maybe as practicing their tackling skills. That's not the purpose of why we give them the ball to be distracted. But it just goes to show you how easy they can be distracted when you apply some other rule, uh, adaption or whatever. Big hand coaches for the players here. Super, do you want to go and get a drink? and then come back for the last one then. Oh, no problem. So coaches, uh, I hope you're observing what, what was happening in terms of the coaches. Uh, we're gonna go move to the last one here now, which is continuous play. And as you can see, they're all game-based activities that we're doing. This is where, you know, court, this is more of a invasion game. And this one also is an invasion game as well. Okay, so if you want to move on, great, and thank you. Just like you have with Jer, send the ball across. Show me how you can send the ball across. Loads of different ways. Stay in your own side for now. Right? If it goes so greens, if you get the ball past the white line, it's a point for you, keep your own score. Oranges, if you get the ball across and it's past the white line, and inside the red, it's a point for you as well. So show me how you can move the ball. Show me how you can send the balls across. And James balling behind the crowd, play. Where you go, Matthew? Send it across any way you want. Just make sure it stays between the white line and the red. Here, quick ender, quick ender. Oh, we have it, ender. Who has it? Oh, well done, Rory. So, in that one, right? So, if we're doing the high catch later on, did you get up? Yeah. Yeah? Where's your eye in the ball? Yeah. What about your arms? Well, what do you think you... What do you think you... Good man, good man, well done. Where you go, Rory? Where you go? Ball. Well done, Connor. Well held. Thumbs behind the ball, Connor. Good lad. Oh, who has it? Matthew. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> one behind you. One behind you, Thomas. One behind you. Keep looking, Ender. Keep looking. Keep looking. Oh, Ender. Great catch. You have it, Thomas. Ah. Excellent, Rory. You have it, Rory. You have it. <laughs> How did we see the ball going across? What were you doing? How were you sending it across first down, Ender? Kicking it? What else did we see? I saw a couple of people fist pass at the start. <laughs> I saw a couple of people throw it. Was that okay? Of course it was. Did I say you could not do that? No. All right, so well done, lads. Different ways, absolutely excellent. All balls have to be high to go across, right? Have to be high. Ball lands, you still get your point. You're gonna beat your record now. If you catch it, high catch, you get five. All right, if you catch it low, chase catch or low catch, it's only one, all right? Keep your score, beat your record, play. Oh, I nearly caught him. Rory, ball's behind you, Rory. Rory, ball's behind you, good lad. Bring it back in there, good lad. Ball in there. Ball, Fionn. Peter, ball behind you. Ball's behind you, Peter. There's ball's behind there. Good lad. So have a think where you so have a think where you're gonna kick. Have a think where you're gonna send it. Take your time. Excellent, Peter. So if you wanted to get it across, what would you do next thing? So kick it harder. What about your distance? How could you change it? How could you make sure that you got it across the next thing? Yeah, good lad. Well done. Well done. Oh, there's one, Fionn. Bring it in to me, five, four. Class. 
All right. So, that was your practice. So, out of, out of everything, I'm going to show you a few pictures. All right, so. So make sure, so Rory, just sit down a wee bit. Just make sure everything can see. All right, you can all see? Yeah. Class. Have a look. All right, and have a look to see which one, which picture is more like you. So we're videoing you. All right, we'd be able to see it. But I want to think, want to have a look at, see which one you think is more like you, or what part of their body you're using the best. So is it your hands? Is it getting up high? Is it reaching for the stars for the ball? Is it the jump? Explode numbers. And they're all in the county play. So they're too old, aren't they? Yeah, much older than you. Good male colours there, Connor, isn't it? Right? Knee up. What else do you see? Hands up in the air. What about the hands behind? So, Fiona, if you don't mind me saying, in yours, did you get up high? Disagree with that, you did. Right. Well, what one do you think yourselves you would be able to do better? So, again, is it your jump? Is it the knee up? Is it the eyes in the ball? Is it the hands? Right. Right. Knee up. Right. So, the last one, if it's your hands, what shape? What ladder? Does it, should it look like that? Yeah. Okay. So, thumbs behind the ball. Right. And then after you do it, bring it back in and protect it. So, what you're doing now, lads, prisoner ball again. Again, keep your score, but as soon as the ball goes across, if I kick it this side, and James catches it and reaches up, where do I go? Uh, behind. Behind. How do I get back onto my side? If someone kicks it. Alright, so you need to watch the ball's coming across. High catch, all ball's high. And also you need to watch, because you want your teammates back on your side too, lads. Alright? Last go, proper prisoner ball. Back in again, last one. Balls away, balls away. Keep your score. Careful, Enda. Hey, class. Enda, what about, what about the distance that you travel there? A lot. <laughs> so did that make it easier or harder when you were trying to catch it? Easier. So, a little bit harder. Now, the ball was high, so yeah, but you probably hit the time across. Right? But because you're watching the ball, who did you forget? Yeah, good lad. I don't, Connor. Well up. You have it, Enda. Oh, both of you again. You two, you two are just playing against each other. You all right, Enda? So get that one, get that one. Good lad, well done. We have nobody on the other side. Oh, you have it, Matthew. Oh, good effort. I don't, Connor. Oh, lucky. Let's see you, Peter. Good lad, Peter, who's getting it? Yeah. One of his lads. Matthew, bring catch. So, if it's a high catch, you get up high. Right? You were watching the ball, but for a proper high catch, what do you think you need to do a little bit better? Yes, hands above your head. Good lad, well done. Don't Fionn, W Fionn. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, Bounce has it. Okay, and uh, you have a corner. Excellent. <laughs> Into me, lads. Into me. Into me. All right, take an eight. Class film. Okay, a couple of questions. Um, I can't remember what we were doing. I I've completely forgot. So what was the focus? What was the skill? High catch, right? So what is the high catch? I can't, I can't remember. All right. So W. So is that from my nose or my hands? From my hands. So W behind. All right, just like the picture. All right. What else do you notice in the pictures? What else did you notice? So W is one. Give me another one. You're coaching me. Fion, come share like any of it. Good, so the hands are protecting the ball as well. All right, so you're cupping the ball into your hands. All right, thumbs behind the ball as well. Right, what do you notice about 
this picture. Neo. 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 Why is the Neo? Protect themselves and also do you're protecting yourself but what are you doing if you bring your knee up like that yeah so you're exploding up right and that helps you right because you're driving up right reaching for the stars and what else do you notice excellent Fiona right so watching the ball watching the ball right now Fiona are ending Rory right because you're watching the ball right you also kind of forget what's happening around you right that there game lads Prisoner ball, getting the ball across, right? You're all able to catch it, right? You're all able to kick the ball across. When you're doing it again, right? Think about what you need to do a little bit better to do it much better. So what would be yours, Matthew? Uh, Reach up as far as you can, right? Excellent. What about yours, Enda? Watching, Watching the ball. What about yours, Thomas? Watching the ball, Rory. Try and catch the ball, okay? Now, your spring was very good. You're watching the ball as well. So, what your timing? What about you, Fionn? Knee up. Knee up. Peter? What about you when you were catching it? What were you good at? What do you think you were good at? Yeah, and you're watching the ball very well as well. James? Watching it. Connor? Yeah, definitely. And I'll... Watching it as well. So, that's what you were good at, lads. That's what you felt you were good at. All right, absolutely excellent. So, out of all the games, crouch lift, shooting, and high catch, right? which do you think you were better at? I, I, yeah, yeah, you were excellent at it, lads. Right? Really, really well done. So, I'm going to make sure that if you've brought any of your stuff over, or if you brought any of your gear over, right? if you left it over there, go get it. If not, bring back over there, lads, right? and we'll go see what, how your head the ball is feeling. So if there's any balls there, lads, just kick, kick them down the side there, Rory. Good lad, good lad.